It was from antiques dealers like this that the founders of the Bose Museum amassed their amazing collection. And now the inner workings of the trade have been exposed in a groundbreaking and brand new exhibition shown through some amazing iconic objects that went through and were sold by the antiques trade. The exhibition is about that hunt for antiques and it's about the shopping experience if you like. The, the concepts of vintage and retro and you know bric-a-brac they're all bound up with this notion of an antique so it's a very complex term uh, and the exhibition itself is trying to um, introduce the visitor to the um, the complexity of the term but also getting prompting them to think for themselves about what an antique is it's telling a story that has never been told before so you might know um, of the Duccio in the National Gallery but what you don't know about it is that in 1968 it was purchased in the um, dealer's ring so th there are lots of stories uh, about dealers in the exhibition that are uh, slightly edgy but they're fundamentally part of the history of the antiques trade. The Antico bronze was a, a famous find for my grandfather and one day he was travelling in a Kent and discovered in an auction something he just thought was interesting at that time and of course it had been painted white. He went on and purchased it in the auction for the grand total of 16 English pounds. I knew the family story that he took it home and scrubbed it and slowly revealed what he saw to be bronze and of course gold. And at that time, Pope Hennessy ran the v and Museum. They, would, they agreed that they would pay something for it and were keen to have it in their possession. But my grandfather, being a very stubborn type of person, he insisted that he had time take it home and so it was taken home for a period of time while they, I think they were finalizing the the price to some degree but he wouldn't let them keep it in their position he took it home and he decided to have pictures taken of the family and, and these are on exhibit today in the Bose Museum today that you can you can see for yourself. Well the power pot we acquired in 1966 um, my father Ronald Lee had been um, invited by the Dent Proclhurst family to go down to Sudley. Um, I think they were thinking of selling a number of items and that particular pot um, was one that he just fell straight in love with. It was made for Sir William Parr. Now he was the uncle of Catherine Parr who was Henry VIII's sixth wife. He actually died in 1546 and um, I'm not sure that he ever he may not even have seen it. The curiosity shop absolutely blows my mind because it makes me want to rummage in there. It makes me want to sit down and start selling. Now, I know it's a shop from the mid 19th century, but it reminds me so much of my very first antique shop. So they haven't changed that much. It's just an exciting environment. It's a place of treasure hunting and pleasure. You must come and see this because it's a unique collection each piece which has been chosen to go in this exhibition, they have their own background story. So you've got this um, collaborative exhibition where different museums, different collectors ha have all come together as one and it's being shown in a beautiful, beautiful building at a great location.